You notice the Great Hunt never sends us anywhere nice? The Empire's been fighting for control of Balmara for years. Death tolls in the high seven figures. War or no war, I've got a job to do. I'm really starting to admire this professional attitude of yours. Let's see what Krista has to say about our job here. It's starting the Hollow now. Welcome to Balmora, Hunter. Your target is the right impressive Admiral Iverness. They call him Admiral Untouchable. Spends all his time on a fancy flagship surrounded by armed soldiers. Can't kill what you can't touch, Hunter. You gotta lure Admiral Iverness off his flying fortress and down to Balmora. To make things even more interesting, no friendly contacts here. You gotta figure this out yourself. And don't forget, the job ain't done till you're the only hunter left standing. Good luck. I make my own luck. That's what I like most about you. He's a war hero, all right. Actually won some battles against the Mandalorians. Wonder if that's how he got on the list. Hmm, this is interesting. Turns out one of the Admiral's toadies is in the market for a bounty hunter. Let's get every piece of information on them you can pull down. The job list and contact is Lieutenant Major Purell. And get this, discretion is of the utmost importance. Whatever this is, Purell wants it secret. Let's apply for a job, and see if we can't work our way up to the Admiral. Lieutenant Major Purell's office is at the Imperial base in Sobrick. Let's go impress him and see where it leads. You there! Bounty hunter! We want a word with you! Take a number and get in line. You see this blaster? It means we get to jump to the front of the line. We've come to collect a debt from you, and we expect payment in full. We Corellians are very particular about our debts. You killed our brother Vex, you pile of scum! You got anything to say for yourself? Vex had a bounty on him. I'm a bounty hunter. End of story. He was that Corellian bank robber on Hutter, right? The... Fast draw guy. You couldn't take him in a stand-up fight, so you shot him in the back. Now you're going to pay the price. The name Taro Blood ring a bell? He told us how you slaughtered Vex and then killed the old man, Brayden, when he discovered your crime. Brayden? I, I can't believe even Taro would stoop that low. Brayden was more than just my mentor. He was my friend. Taro killed him. The only one getting fried here is you, and for nothing. You're gonna die for a lie. Hang on, Vi. What if the bounty hunter's telling the truth? You take the word of this mongrel who killed our brother? No, but I'm not sure I trust Taro Blood either. What if we're being used? Taro sent other people after me too, and they're all dead. Don't believe it, Vor. He's trying to scare us off. What if he wasn't shot in the back? If this bounty hunter killed Vex in a fair fight, what chance do we have? You're smarter than you look, Vor. If I'm gonna die, it ain't gonna be because I was too dumb to walk away. Let's go. But what about Vex? We made a promise. Our brother's dead. Getting ourselves killed won't change that. Come on. Welcome to the office of Lieutenant Major Perel. I am ODX-9. How may I be of assistance? Perel sent for me, didn't he tell you? That's odd. I have no record of an appointment in my scheduling databanks. If I may inquire, with whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Just announce me to the Lieutenant Major already. My sincerest apologies, but the Lieutenant Major is currently in a meeting and cannot be disturbed. Thank you for visiting Lieutenant Major Perel's office. Have a pleasant day. What's the fine for destroying an Imperial droid? The penalty for destroying Imperial property is... Oh my, I'll tell the Lieutenant Major you're here. I'm so sorry to bother you, Lieutenant Major. The Republic had better be bombing the planet, you worthless piece of junk. Sir, forgive me, I've had no choice. There's someone here. I don't care who's out there, you scrap pile. I told you I was not to be disturbed.
Discretion is of utmost importance. Ring a bell. Sir, shall I call security? Uh, no, no. That's not necessary. Send our guest in right away. This time, make sure we are not disturbed for any reason. Any reason. Understood? Perfectly, sir. I will unlock the door right now. Perel's our only connection to Admiral Ivernus, so let's make the Lieutenant Major a very satisfied customer. My apologies for the poor welcome. I never informed that idiot droid I was hiring a bounty hunter. I'm assistant to the naval attaché of the Governor of Balmora. I specialize in intelligence gathering. Master is wise and powerful. This is Mergir, an amusing gift from a friend on Drummond Kass. What she lacks in intelligence, she makes up for in entertainment value. Let's get down to business, shall we? My superior, Colonel Sartius, is an incompetent fool. I toil in his shadow, though his job should rightfully be mine. You're obviously more deserving of power. Precisely. Even you can see it. But what's most infuriating is that Colonel Sartius has the full confidence of Admiral Ivanus. Colonel Sartius remains in power because he excels at hiding his gross incompetence from the Admiral. But we're going to tear down that facade. You got something in mind? I've been plotting Sarsius' downfall for months. All I need is you to put my plan in motion. I want you to create... problems for Colonel Sarsius. Problems I'm confident he can't deal with. Your missions will involve plenty of mayhem and destruction. And the pay is quite generous. Interested? Generous pay is my favorite term. Excellent. We speak the same language, then. Your first target is the Okara Droid Factory. Before the Empire invaded Balmora, we sabotaged the facility, turning the droids into crazed killing machines. Colonel Sarsius is very close to deciphering the facility's control codes. If he does, it will bring the droids fully under the Empire's control. The Colonel cannot be allowed such a victory. I sent a data slicer to enter a code scrambling virus into the facility's computer system. Very sneaky, Lieutenant Major. Yes, I was rather proud of that plan myself. Unfortunately, it didn't work. The security team escorting the slicer was killed by the facility's droids. Now the slicer is trapped inside. The slicer refuses to input the virus until I send a rescue team. I'm sending you. The Slicer's name is Zalia. Force her to input the virus into the system. Then eliminate her. No loose ends. We'll have more business to discuss when you return. You're Zalia the Slicer, right? Perel sent me. Yeah. Thank the stars. I don't know how much longer I could have held out. My reconnaissance team was evaluating the factory's computer systems when the droids overpowered us. The droids slaughtered my team. I've been stuck here for days without food, water, or sleep. I'm here to make sure you input the virus. You know about that? But I can't do what Perel wants. It's impossible. If I put the virus in the computer's control program, it'll trigger alarms. Those droids will swarm us. I'll make a nice big scrap pile out of them. There are dozens of them out there. Crazy killing machines. You can't fight them all. We've gotten out of way worse situations. We'll be fine. You're totally set on this, aren't you? Okay. Here goes nothing. I can't believe we're still alive. You'll be fine now. Oh, my stars. Thank you. You're amazing. I've never seen anything like that. 
I'm bailing out of here before more droids show up. Running away never felt so good. My contract with Perel stipulates no loose ends. That means you. Oh. Oh no. Please don't kill me. I swear I'll go straight. I'll never slice another computer. Just let me go! You have to promise to disappear. Absolutely. I'll change my name. D delete all records of my existence. It'll be like I was never born. I believe her. Besides, Perel's an idiot. He'll never know. I never want to see you again. Got it? You won't. Thank you. Welcome back. I take it everything went well, and the Okara droid factory is running smoothly? And what about Zelia? I trust that slicer won't be a problem. What slicer, Lieutenant Major? Ah, yes. What slicer, indeed. The Admiral will soon see my worth. Master is so wise. Remain silent, my pet, or I shall discipline you again. And you don't want that, do you? Here is your payment for taking care of the slicer, my friend. Excellent work. Your next assignment concerns the local fauna. Colonel Sartius is responsible for keeping our citizenry safe from the deadly colicoids infesting this planet. Deadlier than a bunch of killer droids? Colicoids are vicious, giant, insect-like creatures that devour anything in their path. Their exact origin on Balmora is unclear. After the Empire's invasion, the Balmorans released mutated colicoids into the wilderness. The creatures successfully bred and have become a plague on the population. The colicoids have become almost docile in recent months. Attacks are down all across the planet. That makes Colonel Sarsius look like he's got this plague under control. But we know better, don't we? What should we replace the colicoids with? Kawaki and monkey lizards? The colicoids are perfectly useful beasts. They simply need encouragement. The last time they attacked in force was when a survey team accidentally encountered a colicoid queen. It took five squads to kill her. Esupuda nupajunki, faguta ji uta vukise. Uptola, dupatwana duana wanki, slimo pod yukata janga. I'm following you. Kiko ubakili, wata bunga dunko, putoga wata. Place this sonic device near the nest entrance. It will confuse and anger the colicoids. Kill any drones and warriors you see. Eventually, the queen will reveal herself. The sonic device will disorient her, leveling the playing field so you get a fair shot. Be fast and careful. You're alive! Magnificent. Frantic reports of colicoid attacks are pouring in from all over the planet. I've included a generous bonus with your payment. Colonel Sartius is going absolutely insane. <laughs> <laughs> Once Sartius is removed from his position, Admiral Ivanus will certainly consider my application for a promotion. It's a flawless plan. Don't you agree? That's not enough to impress an admiral. What do you mean? How does one impress an admiral? What should my approach be? Make the Admiral come to you. Show your power. Interesting. Don't simply offer my name up to the Admiral as a choice to replace Colonel Sartius. Make myself THE choice. If things got bad enough here, 
Admiral Ivanus would want to conduct another inspection. That could be my opportunity to meet and impress him. I need one final brilliant maneuver to arrange my face-to-face -face meeting with Admiral Ivanus. And I know just what to do. Reports indicate that the Republic forces that stayed on Balmora after we invaded are training resistant fighters at the Balmoran Arms Factory. Those Republic dogs are as good as dead. It's not that simple. They're dug in at a location we're trying to take intact. Otherwise, we'd have exterminated them long ago. The Colonel has learned of a secret rendezvous between the Resistance leaders and several off-world allies. His spies planted a homing beacon aboard the Resistance leader's command shuttle. You're going to remove that beacon. If I remove the homing beacon, the Resistance leaders escape. Only temporarily. I'll deal with the Resistance once Colonel Sartius is out of my way. You will move the beacon from the shuttle to a garbage transport. The Colonel will swoop in with his warships to find nothing but garbage-sifting Ugnaughts. The shuttle is in the spaceport at the fortified Balmoran Arms Factory. Be cautious. Success. I've just received word that Colonel Sartius has been placed under arrest. Under arrest? If only I could have been there when Sartius led his men into that garbage transport, weapons drawn. <laughs> Morgir swoons in admiration for Master. This is priceless. Admiral Ivanus is already on his way. He wants us to meet at the spaceport. You've done me a great service, Bounty Hunter. Credits feel insufficient. How can I better reward you? I want to be there when you meet the man. See you get your reward. Yes. How fitting that the individual who helped me achieve my goals will be at my side to greet the Admiral. And he'll enjoy meeting someone of your skill and ability. I think both of you would benefit. Meet me at the spaceport. Your presence as part of the grand entourage I present to Admiral Ivanus will make the occasion truly memorable. Morgir wants to go. Morgir can be part of the occasion. Oh, very well. But mind your place. I'll see you at the Admiral's docking bay, bounty hunter. Don't be late. A very bright future awaits us. Ah, there you are. Just in time. Admiral Ivanus's shuttle has already arrived. I hope you're ready. Relax. He's just a man. Yes, you're right. No different from me. Shh. He's coming. Admiral Ivanus, sir. I can't tell you what a singular honor and pleasure this is. You worthless incompetent. I, I, I beg your pardon. Sir. W what, what have I done, sir? It's what you failed to do. You're in charge of intelligence. Colonel Sartius's failures are your failures. No, no, sir. I warned Colonel Sartius there were many problems with his strategies. Silence, you pathetic excuse for an officer. I've come all the way here just to see you executed in person. No, sir. I can explain. I just... You, bounty hunter, help the Admiral understand. Explain it to him. I'm a bounty hunter, remember? You brought a bounty hunter with you, Perel? What were you thinking? Thinking is not one of Perel's strengths, Admiral. What in the Emperor's name is that? Morgir. What? The name's Morgir, Admiral Ivernus. I'm a bounty hunter on the Great Hunt, and I am here to kill you. I had a feeling about you. Really? You weren't taken in by my superb acting? Morgir loves her master. Morgir lives to serve. Guards, blast them! All of them! No! Not me! Ah! Please don't kill me. 
I, I beg you. I don't want to die. I I'll transfer a large sum of credits to your account, and, and I'll blame the Cathar for everything. Just please don't kill me. For the love of the Emperor, let me live. Oh, I can't stand to see a grown Imperial cry. Oh, thank you. You will find I'm a valuable ally. Yes, you won't regret this. Pleasure doing business with you. Yes. Yes, it, it was a true pleasure. I, I'll never forget you. Never. Oh, I can't believe we pulled that off. What a crazy hunt. I mean, honestly, did you know Murgir was the other bounty hunter all along? She never had me fooled for a second. Really? Can't put one over on you, huh? Looks like we're done with beautiful Balmora. We should get gone while the getting's still good. I've eliminated my targets on Balmora. Old Wall, I confirm. It looks like things got messy, but you made a clean getaway. Credit for Admiral Ivernus goes to you. Keep it up and we'll know you weren't just lucky. Luck out. <laughs>